RL card has a tutorial in their repository that you can use. And that's what I'll be going through in the first part. In the second part, I'll show you how we can then play with our AI agent. In today's tutorial, we'll just be doing blackjack, but there are several different environments that you can use um, from Texas Hold'em to No Limit Hold'em, all sorts of different environments. A Yahtzee, I think, is one. Uno is another. Uh, just take a poke around and take a look. To get started, the first thing we'll need to do is install RL card, and then we're going to import the agents, and that we're going to use the DNQ agent. Once that's installed, and it won't take too long, we'll import RL card, the agents, and the DNQ agent. And I just want to show you what the environment looks like. If we print out the number of actions, players, state, shape, and action space, you can see here that we have initialized two players, or excuse me, we've. you can see here there are two actions and one player for this environment at the moment. State shape is two, shape of the action is none. So what does this mean? It just means that the actions in this environment that an agent can take is either to hit or stay. Um, if you're not familiar with the game of blackjack, you're trying to get as close as you can to 21, I believe. And so you just either hit for your card or you just stay. And if whoever becomes closest to 21 wins. All right. So now we're going to initialize our agent. We pass through the environment number of actions to our number of actions, state space to our state a shape space. And this is going to be a 64 layer agent. Now we reinitialize the environment by setting the agent to what we've just initialized. We're going to get ready to train. So one thing that RL card allows us to do is import utility functions that allow us to um, check the tournaments, reorganize everything so that we can read it easier, log the events, and plot the loss curve. So for here, we're just going to set the logger. We're going to create the tra trajectories, which generates the data for the environment. Um, we're going to set training to true because we are training our agent in this case. Um, and then basically what all this does is it saves all of the different data paths and initializes our our path to our logger and saves it in that directory. This is sort of optional, um, but if you want to take a look at how your agent is actually performing, then this is obviously, I think, something that's worth doing. I took this from the Leduc Hold'em uh, tutorial, but I should have renamed this to Blackjack it's all the same, it does the same thing. There we go, so we are now training our agent um, and it's logging for us the reward on the episode and then you can see here the loss function per every... Okay, so we're just saying if the episode, so if it's, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 203, 206, you can see it's sort of jumping around here. So let's wait for this to finish and then we'll move into the second part of our video where we'll actually see how the agent plays and I'll show you how you can play with RL card as well. All right, so it is finished. Let's go ahead and plot the curve here and see how it looks. Sort of difficult to see, but you can see it started down here. And we want this to get as close to zero as possible. So right around the, what is this? 50,000 episode is where we start to see some ups and downs. Um, 
but it looks like we never get better than 0.06, uh, which is too bad. I think we could tweak this a little bit better, but we really stop seeing any initial benefits after 5,000 episodes. Cool. Okay, so now we have the results, but how do we actually see the Blackjack agent in, um, in action? So one thing we're gonna do is import a random agent because we're gonna play against just a random, just an agent that takes random actions regardless of its training. And then we're going to import blackjack human agent as human agent this will allow us to actually play with the environment along with our agent and we'll need to print the card um, that way in our terminal we can see what cards we're actually playing here then we're going to initialize our environment but this time we're going to make the blackjack environment and we're going to config the number of players to the number of players we've initialized here. So in this instance, we're going to initialize three, one for the random agent, one for myself and one for the agent we just trained. Excellent. Um, again, just for the environment so it knows what's going on, we're going to say the human agent can take the same number of actions as everyone else. I throw in myself, the random agent and the DQN agent that we just initialized. And so now we're gonna play. So while this is true, the game is running, it's going to, and we've set it to false because we're not training, we just wanna play with our two agents here. It's going to calculate all of the things that it needs to calculate. And it's gonna take the observation and it's going to print to whichever player is ready the pair of hands in whatever you choose. It's gonna show the dealer hand, the player's hand, and the result of that, whatever each player took. Um, there's a lot of if statements and for loops in this cell. I took this straight off the tutorial, but it'll make a lot more sense when we run it. So here you can see um, the dealer hand was a 10 of hearts. Player zero has a nine and an eight. Player one, as ace and five, player two, eight and seven. I'm pretty sure I'm the human agent. So what is this? This is 17. Let's go ahead and hit. And I lost a chip, dang. So what is the new, so what is my new hand here? Nine, eight, ten. Oh, basically you just play once. So we just got to hit enter to continue and a new game is initialized dealers three looks like i am 17 there five six seven i'm gonna hit and i lost a chip everyone lost a chip no one's doing very good in this game so let's see i'm not even gonna check so i lost a chip and player one won a chip so who's player one i think player one is the random agent. I want to see our QN agent get a win. Player two is Ty. Interesting. Player two is not doing very good. There he goes. He wins and I want a chip even though I didn't know what I was doing here. Okay, so you get the idea. Basically, it's pretty cool because you, they actually prints out the actual card which i'm really surprised by and you can initialize any amount of players that you want random agents you can train a dqn agent you can train a ppo agent and then play against both of them and see which one is doing better um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it and then to stop it we'll just hit actually let's see what happens here I lost, but the other two players won. Interesting. Okay, so let's stop it there. I think that's good. And you can want we can look over our games here. Cool. That's all I wanted to show you guys. RL card. It's a pretty cool repository for playing poker and things. Um, check it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.